All right, hey guys. All right, look. Uh, here's the thing. Um, just a couple of people have asked about clearing BIOS passwords. Um, I'm currently working on an Acer Aspire 7741Z-4433. Uh, uh, but the BIOS chip is pretty much all the same. It's Phoenix, and uh, what you have to do to clear the BIOS password, it's simple but somewhat difficult. You have to disassemble the entire uh, laptop, and I'm going to try to put this in frame here and. Yeah, here we go. There, sorry, um, right here is a CMOS battery. You you have to remove this this CMOS battery right here. You have to remove that. And now, uh, when you do that, um, you want be, before you disassemble it, you want to re just remove the battery, um, pull the AC power from it. And press and hold the power button for around 15 seconds. That's all you need. And all the other components is going to discharge. Now, if you flip this straight over, there is one capacitor, and it's this one right here that does not lose power. Now, you can Un unplug the uh, CMOS and you can let it set for three, four, five days and it will like eventually lose power. And then you can plug it back up and then all of a sudden your BIOS password has been reset. But if you don't have that time, it's this one right here. It's If you flipped it over, it's right here next. To the CMOS battery. So flipping it back over, leaving my thumb on it, it's right there. And you can even check check voltage. Uh, voltage will like you know like initially will be around 3.9, 3.6. Now uh, if you have an analog, I'm gonna I'm gonna set this down. Um, if you have an analog meter, you can just hold it to it, and it will eventually drain. It. If you have a digital meter, it won't. So what you can do uh, at, at that point with a static mat and everything discharged, um, you can short out that back to pass. You can take that charge straight to ground, and it will discharge that capacitor. And it normally takes at least three hands to do it. Uh, I actually had my wife come over here and say, hey, you know, like leave me a hand, just touch this and this together, and then all of a sudden, boom, discharge, and you don't have to wait three or four days. At that point, you just reassemble uh, the laptop, put it all back together, put your CMOS battery in. You have to set date and time and, and you know, all that stuff in your BIOS, but your BIOS password is gone, and that's how you do it.